Hi there, uh, this is VS Android and this is a video highlighting one of the major design flaws with Go Launcher EX for Android. Now I've recently bought the new HTC One phone as you can see here uh, and with a gorgeous 1080p screen uh, like many others I've been very excited to try out my favorite launchers. Uh, this includes Go Launcher EX by the Go Launcher dev team. Now Go Launcher EX is widely regarded by many as one of the best launchers on the Android today. Uh, packed with many features and beautiful transition effects it has the potential to be the best launcher out there. However, due to a major design flaw, which I've mentioned, uh, it's actually unusable um, to many people. And this is a video highlighting why. Now, firstly, uh, I want to compare the exact same home screen on several different launchers. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like with Go Launcher EX. Now, uh, just showing you, I've got the new HTC One phone. And if I go into my system settings, and then go into about phone and then go into software information you can see that I'm running Android 4.1.2 and HTC Sense version 5. So if we go back the first launcher I'm going to show you is TSF Shell. Um, main thing I want to show you is it's going to have the same layout on all the launchers. You can see the leaf at the very bottom and very importantly at the top there are no problems with the notification bar. The notification bar is there and you can see the bottom of the leaf. So literally edge to edge display. Now if I go into my app drawer and if I pull up something else, let's have a look. Let's pull up ADW Launcher. Once again you can see the bottom of the leaf and the notification bar is where it is. So it's the, you've got the exact same layout as I have on TSF. It's just slightly different transition effects. Now, if we go back now and let's have a look at a another launcher. Let's have a look at Nova. Here we go. This is what the same layout looks like on Nova. Once again, notification bar is absolutely there. You can see everything. Um, you can clearly see today's date, which is Thursday the 13th of June, and you can see the bottom of the leaf. As you can see, it's just been covered by Chomp SMS. Now, let's try um, another launcher. Let's try Next Launcher 3D. This is a launcher which has been developed by the Go team. It's a premium 3D launcher, uh, and it costs, I think, $16. So once again, everything is as it's supposed to be. You can see clearly, you can see, you know, you can see the bottom of the leaf and the notification bar is where it's supposed to be. No problems. Everything is as it's supposed to be. Now, there's one major problem. Now, this is what happens if you're running Go Launcher EX. So here's Go Launcher EX. And you're going to notice two major problems. First, on the top of the screen, there is no notification bar. The notification bar is completely vanished. And at the bottom of the screen, uh, you can't see the bottom of the leaf. In fact, 10% of the screen is now taken up by a very, very ugly black border. Now, the HTC phone, the HTC One, doesn't have a hardware menu button. So, so what most apps do is they replace that with an in in-app menu button. The Go team unfortunately have very lazily plumped this ugly black border which acts as your menu button. Not only does it actually slow down um, the, the transitions between the screens, um, it actually also takes up 10%. Now this is how buggy this is. Um, there is no notification bar. To get the notifications to see what's going on you actually have to drag your there you go. Did you see that? Disappeared. I'm going to just drag it down halfway. Nope. There you go. Let's try that again. There you go. So this is what the phone should look like and you've got a huge portion taken out. This is absolutely buggy and um, it really, really needs a fix. Uh, once this is fixed, then 
uh, Go Launcher EX will actually go back to being one of the best, if not the best launcher on the market. But this is absolutely lazy programming and I really hope the Go team watch this video and fix this. So have a look. There's that black border at the bottom and if I go back into TSF shell, everything is as it's supposed to be. Which is a real shame because I really love Go Launcher. So please Go team, if you're watching this, please please fix this for phones that do not have a hardware menu button because your launcher is absolutely unusable. Thank you.